Hey guys, hope you're all doing well and welcome back. Let's play some EU4. We're going to be playing as Holland and we are going to conquer the entire world. And uh, we're going to control all the trade along the way, of course, because we will be the Dutch. Before we get started, though, I want to let you guys know that my buddy Corbett Gaming has an awesome channel. And I'm not sure if you've heard of him. A lot of my subscribers have. But if you have not, check out his channel. The link's going to be down below in the description. If you like what I do, you'll probably like what he does. His content is awesome i'm a big fan and i watch his videos personally so i can recommend it uh, also if you're excited for the campaign leave a like down below and subscribe if you have not already and you want to keep up to date with the channel uh, we have a discord as well as a patreon the patreon has been awesome the support has been awesome you get custom roles in the discord and a few other various things um i think you might like that if you would like to support what i do but for anyways i'm talking way too much let's open up um, I do want to know what you guys think as far as idea sets goes. Um, so the Dutch have a lot of room for flex, um, but I'm really leaning towards initially playing tall, um, not super tall, but tall enough, right? So I'm thinking maybe like a, a quantity would be a really good one because that way we could have a huge army that we could just smash people. Defensive is always super good choice early. I tend to not go military ideas first. I'm leaning towards more of like a... You know, an influence that way I could sort of vassalize and and expand that way in the HRE. Um, and otherwise, then economic is obviously a good choice pretty much all the time. Um, religious is also going to be one we're going to be taking because we're going to go probably reformed. I don't know. I haven't decided yet on that, but let me know what you guys want to do. Anyways, we start off in a bit of a precarious situation. We are um, ruled under. The Duke of uh, Burgundy. He is our king. Our king is his king. He is our king. I don't know. He's pretty good, actually, too, which is kind of a bummer that uh, we're going to end up, you know, kicking him out. But uh, it shouldn't be a big deal. So I think first and foremost, who are you rival to? France and England, actually. No, not France. Enemies of France and Savoy and Denmark. So... England would not support me, but France would. So that's an obvious yes. Savoy would probably, if I improved relations with him, and I'll do that. I, I, I haven't played the game in a couple of days. And it's like I completely forgot where all the buttons are. So let's do that. Our trade is, um, yep, that sounds about right. As far as advisors go, we make lots of money because we're collecting a decent amount of trade. So we should probably do this. Um... With a national tax, I feel like that's probably a good choice. Um, trade efficiency for sure, and um, go with fort defense because we are going to be on the defensive early on. We are going to grab our army and put them up there, and we are going to recruit a few more infantry here whenever we get the monies. We will send our trade fleet out because we start with 10 a whopping 10 guys, which is pretty crazy. Uh, and we will give Amsterdam to the Borges so we can get more points from them. Um, we definitely want an admiral, so we're going to do that. And then we will take the diplo support as well as the monies. And uh, these guys, I don't think we're going to get anything more than the 50, which is fine. These guys, we can get a general. And we'll take their money, or take the points, rather. And I think early on, we're probably going to want... We're going to want to uh, decide on this idea group, so I want you guys to let me know what you think in the description, what we should go. I am leaning towards a tall group first, like maybe trade or economic, something to really kind of kickstart our economy um, to really fund, because we're not going to expand much outside of this area early on. Uh, we will probably expand into the British Isles because we want this, um, the trade in the trade node, the, what is this, the English Channel. Um, and so there's going to be a lot of deving, and there's also going to be a lot of uh, trade. So I'm leaning trade, but as far as focus right now, I don't know. I guess I'll wait, and we'll see where my uh, my new king goes after we declare independence. So we're improving with him. I think everything is pretty well sorted out. We need to get our other dude, the leader on here. And you are protecting, so let's go. All right, so... Ready for new assignments. Can we get somebody to support our independence? So England actually would if we improved relations with him. So we're going to do that. And we're going to wait a couple of months. Realistically, 
it may actually be worth it hiring this guy. Let's see here. Yes, definitely worth it. So, fine. Shadow Kingdom, of course. Of course, of course. All right, I need a bigger army. Let's get a bigger army then, shall we? All right, you guys are not going to end up supporting me, which is kind of a bummer. Wonder why. So Savoy will do it though. I think between the two, I'll be that would be totally fine because France is just gonna be an absolute meat shield, right? All right, so he actually probably would right now. Next month, maybe. As soon as we get this second little stack popping out, we'll be good to go. So hopefully by the end of the month, we'll be able to see what's going on over here. There we go. Thank you, sir. We will, um... We'll take it. I don't care. It's fine. Hmm. Can I set my... Attitude? Does that help? Interested. So, what about Denmark? Hmm. Well, I suppose with just France and... Uh, in Savoy, we'd probably be good to go. Matter of fact, I think we're probably gonna do it. Let's pull you guys in just for now. Uh, we do need to be careful because we're going to eventually... Because our navy will get just spanked if they do that. So, let's get you guys together. Let's get our general here. And we are going to declare independence. Ulster, I don't care about. And uh, Nevers... Okay, so it's just his, his guys. So, maybe, just maybe... No, not gonna happen. Okay, well that's fine. We go it alone. So we'll have uh, France and Savoy. We're going to lose lots of stability. Our new king is okay. You know, not great, not bad. Eberhard von uh, Schulzbach. I'm going to, for now, focus admin. That way we can at least get tech caught up. We are going to pull you back and we're going to improve with him. Because we're eventually going to want to more than likely ally England. Mm, maybe not. Probably be France. We'll definitely stick with France for now. Um, we're not going to be getting any prosperity, so I'm just going to let the stab hang out for a little bit. I don't think it's going to be an issue. Uh, let's make sure real quick that there's nobody else that we could maybe get a slick little alliance with. So a couple of these dudes are pretty close. Assuming I wasn't at war. Okay, that's fine. So, let us... Um, we're just going to hang tight here because this fort will protect us here, I believe. So, we just need to really wait on France. Oh no, France. Don't do it. Don't do it. And maybe we... Don't get a stack wipe, though. Please, no stack wipe. <gasps> okay, it wasn't. I got really scared for a second there. Yeah, it's kind of dumb. I feel like that's not in your best interest, but as long as my little stack up here, I just need war participation, honestly. So speaking of that, I bet I have a higher force limit. So let's do that. There we go. Just all infantry for now. That's fine. Oh my gosh. They're just duking it out down here, man. They are duking it out. I do need to watch this little seven stack, though, because he'll... You son of a gun. Alright, not the can't. Not the calf. We don't want them over there. I will leave this one stack there. And we'll come and... Just need to be careful, because I don't want to lose that little one stack there. I can't believe Ulster landed men. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Don't do it. No, don't do it. Dang it. We're gonna lose that one stack. Feels bad, man. Feels quite bad, honestly. That's fine, though. Not a big deal. Just losing the siege progress is, is the shame of it. The big thing is, is we just need to make sure that we keep our war participation up at least a decent bit. Um, because France and Savoy are both going to expect land um, in this war because they both order him, obviously. So. Okay, so let's actually blockade here.
Just need to watch, make sure. Yep. Oh, come on. Give me a friggin' break. Aye, aye, aye. Okay, well, I guess we're just gonna fight him here. Hopefully we can flee. Really? Okay, whatever. That. Speed 5. Whatever. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Alright, anyways, let's go ahead and do that. Man, that's infuriating. Such an annoying thing, man. I was trying to be safe, too. Let's just uh, build a couple of them up in that province over here. Let's get... Let's make sure we're getting our money here. Um, let's protect some trade. We'll just send all of them. So we got a couple of extra ships just in case, right? Uh, yeah, that's fine. You can like me. His siege ticks are super long, which is super good for me. Because meanwhile, he's getting his capital siege down. And he's not, he has been sieging my capital for half a year, and he's at negative 64%. Right. A couple of heavies might actually... Nope, feels bad. Yeah, that's fine. Get you guys repaired up and then go ahead and go back out protect and trade. So he lost his capital, which means we are definitely going to be able to do whatever we want here moving forward. Just a matter of just kind of sitting here and waiting. He's going to end up getting fully sieged down, probably, for all I care about. And meanwhile, he got a disease outbreak, and he's been here for a year, and he's at negative 50. Ah, feels good. Feels good. Except for the fact that my war participation is going to be super low, and he has all of the occupations up here, so... That doesn't feel so good, but... So, we're going to combine you guys and get our general back over there. We're probably going to bring in a couple more guys. Our manpower's still fine. I want Breda. I think that's the main concession that I want. Obviously, aside from my freedom. Freedom! We want our freedom. We want to send some men over here to uh, attrition on the forts. Because if you don't know, war participation is uh, calculated by amount of men lost. Well, one of the things that attribute it is um, amount of manpower lost on forts. Come on now. Capital... Captured a couple of trade, a couple of lights. I'll send you guys back out there and help him out. So see, my participation is rising slowly but surely. My war part or my uh, war exhaustion is going to skyrocket here in this war, and there's honestly not much I can do about it. Devastation over here is pretty bad. Oh no, it's not, and it's hardly there on our capital. So. Okay, Navy has been sunk, and we are going to get you guys back out protecting trade. Won that. Let's come over here. He's almost 100% occupied. Holster is even at medium enthusiasm, if you can believe that. Alright, so let's get you guys down here. I'm actually going to go down to speed 3, do some DDR Jake style for a little bit here. So he's willing to peace now. So I guess we need to consider what our peace deal is going to be, of course. So you will obviously give us independence and we want Breda. And uh, Savoy does expect land, but you don't have anything sieged, my friend. So that's not going to be very helpful. I wonder... Hmm. Goodness gracious. France. Yeah, he's going to expect some, some serious clay in this war, like... Okay, maybe, maybe not so much, actually. Maybe we can give him something like down here. That way we can take all this for ourselves and we don't need to worry about friends wanting our lands, right? That would be less than ideal. Hmm, so... I really don't want him to siege his capital back, though. That would be quite unfortunate. Everybody's still in high enthusiasm, so... We're okay. He's probably going to end up sieging it back. Let's actually make sure we switch this over to uh, trade power as well. Make sure we're bringing in as much money as we can. Mm -hmm. 
Go up to speed four here. Right, so who do we want to improve relationship with? Probably with uh, Mr. Austria, the Osterreich. See if we can get an alliance with him and might as well get one with um, Bohemia as well. Probably going to take his capital back here. He did, but it shouldn't be a big deal. So France is going to go in and suicide a bunch of men on my behalf. And he won, so... There's a low garrison here, so it should be... Oh, wait, what? Oh, right here. Yeah, there. that makes more sense. Um, okay, so morale of armies, army tradition, prestige. Sounds good for a couple of points that I don't really care about. Sounds good to me. Alright, so... They cancelled subsidies. I didn't even know... Oh, they were giving us three ducats a month in subsidies. I didn't even know it. Well, I like that. Yeah, Savoy, I would... Hey, that's pretty cool. Floris Utrecht, Admiral Floris Utrecht, can now give us an extra 15%. So, look at that, we're collecting five ducats a month, but that's also because we have all of this land over here. So, the reason, and let me explain what I'm doing, because I know I'm just kind of flinging through it. The reason why we want Breda is because you need it to form the Dutch nation. So you need to take all of this land. So, we need Breda. And uh, it'll be good. So, um, okay. So we sunk his heavies. Very nice. Um, if anybody was wondering, we will indeed be going a bit of um, expansion as far as colonial. It's not going to be the theme. There will just be a bit of it. Um, okay. So, I actually don't know how it works. Oh, I got to sneeze. <coughs> Goodness. Excuse me. So I don't actually know what happens if the uh, Duke of Burgundy dies in this war. So we need to get a province here for Savoy or he needs to peace out. Ideally he pieces out. That would be pretty sweet. One, two, three, or um, not. It's fine. We'll take my chances on waiting out for another heir. Our statesman is dead, which is fine, because we can get a trade guy. And uh, we're going to hold off on that, because we're going to end up taking a province we're going to need to core. So I'm going to see if I can give this to Savoy. Um, we do have a fort in the area, so it shouldn't be a problem. So let's give this one to Savoy. Hopefully he wants it. That would be just swell. He does. And France wants a little bit more, so I'll give him that. If I wanted to, I could really just like mess France up and give him a bunch of aggressive expansion. He's only getting 18. So, pretty good. Concession of defeat. 75% cost for concession of defeat. That'd be nutty. Okay, so we will get our freedom. We will get um, he will get us war reps, which will be super nice. He'll seed a couple provinces down here, and uh, we get Breda. And we also get four ducats. Just because, you know, screw you, Burgundy. So there we go. We are now a uh, independent kingdom or duchy. We now have Breda. We are going to probably get a... Um, hmm. We need to declare another war or else we're going to get unlawful territory here because this is a uh, Holy, Roman Emperor, Holy Roman Empire core. So let's see here. Friesland, who are you allied to? Couple of people I don't care about a whole lot. About Gelray and Utrecht. Gelray has an alliance network, but not a big one. Brittany and Brunswick. So I would like to probably ally Munster, and I could declare. Do you? He wants some his some of Utrecht's clay. So I should probably. Hmm. I need to declare war very soon, or else I'm going to get. A uh, unlawful territory demand. So I suppose I will... So Gelray is the one who's allied to Munster. So I will not rival Gelray quite yet. Friesland, it would be a really nice war deck. Does he want Friesland's land? He does. So, let me see here. 
Hmm, okay, let's wait till the end of the month. And we can now take Miltech, which is nice. We can declare on you. Mecklenburg and Oldenburg, I feel like we could probably handle, considering the fact that we have 10k troops. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. We could declare on these two. Probably not my best interest, honestly. Maybe we just suck it up, suck it up and deal with the rebels. Unfortunate, but we might not really have a choice. As our war exhaustion goes down, it'll be a little bit better as well. I think we're gonna have to just do with it. We will, however, get a um couple of couple of claims here. Let's see here. Let's get one on each of you. Um I will definitely Royal Mary France. Savoy, I think I'll hold off on for now. Yeah, I'm never gonna get a alliance with you. Bohemia possibly though. Maybe. England we no. What about Denmark? I don't know. I just want to make sure we can get some some good allies early on. Munster would be a good ally. We want him. Let's get that first bit right there. Okay, so let's get you and then immediately send you back to uh, build some spy network. Good. And so the main thing um, a lot of people might ask, hey, you know, how are you going to go for a world conquest if you're going to be going Dutch? They have a republic government. Unfortunately, we probably will not use the unique government form for the Dutch, as it does cause a bit of uh, issues with that. Cool. Let's see here. Um, you don't have any useful allies. Who would be a good... Liège, just Cologne. I could get a really quick little cheeky um, show superiority off, and I think I will do that. So let's go ahead and do that. Yes. Cologne can join in. That's fine. He's not going to be able to do a whole lot. It should be a stack wipe, so... Very good. Let's take this province right here. So I'm waiting. Cologne's army. Should be able to find them. So this is all woods. I'm going to do a little scorched earth tactic over here. So this is all scorched. So I'm waiting for Cologne's army. I don't have this through there. I'm waiting for his army to pop up. And I'm going to try to um, get a cheeky stack wipe on him as well. But I might have to wait on it, which is fine with me. And I'll start growing our um, spy networks and getting our claims while we can. We don't see Cologne's army anywhere. Oh, here it is. Okay, so when will you be there? 28th? I'll be there on the 29th. Damn. How does Scorched Earth not work anymore? Eh, it's fine. We might get a couple of good rolls on us, but shouldn't be an issue. And we can probably track him down. He's probably running all the way over to his... Oh, he's just running to his capital. Well, that's easy then. Okay. Somehow he's not... Um, fleeing all the way. It's kind of strange. But there you go. Alright, so... These guys will come over here. And you guys will come over here. Just so he doesn't start... Pulling men out of his booty booty hole here, and uh, we're gonna get access through Klebs. What? What are you talking about, dude? Okay. Apparently, this doesn't give us. How's this work? 
There we go. Alright, so this should allow us to do that, and then we can get you back over here, building spy network. Just hopefully 24th of April. Okay, so these guys actually will. Twenty fourth of April, twentieth of April. Hmm. We'll take that. Um. I suppose we can get a couple of quick little stack wipes on him over here. So we want to get down here on the twenty first. Go. This one will be fielded on the twentieth. Oh, was I, did I screw that up? This one, as long as he's there after the 21st, the 24th, I mean. So this one will be there on the 23rd, June. So we'll take this in the meantime. I just have these guys here so he doesn't um, field any men. So 23rd of June and we can get there on the 20, we want to get there on the 25th, I assume. There we go. Should be easy stack wipe there. We will take that tech. Very nice. And we should be able to piece Cologne out pretty easy. I'll take the admin points, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So we can get our claims on you and a claim on you. We'll recall both of you guys and we will piece Cologne out. Hmm. We can't make any demands from him. Until, but I don't want a siege in level 9 fort. So I'm just going to white piece him. Or level 3, I should say. He doesn't have an army, so now he's going to get attacked. Levs has cancelled our military access, which is fine with me. Okay, so we are going to need 9k over here. Good. Send him down. Okay. Send him down. And we'll be able to get a show superiority off. For those of you who don't know, uh, that is essentially a um, free 300 monarch points. It's best to get early on. Let's actually build some spy network in you. We will. I'm thinking our first war will actually be against you. So he's at war with Cologne. He would probably join. Let's see here. Would you join this one? He would. So I guess which one do I really want? Friesland. I'm going to vassalize them regardless. I'm not going to take any clay in the war. Um, Retta has 28 unrest. Isn't that nuts? <laughs> Let's uh, state it up, by the way. That's crazy. We're losing all our manpower over here to the sieges. I guess we're not losing manpower, but no problem. And we're just waiting, just waiting, waiting, waiting. All right. Going a bit long on our first episode. Hope you guys appreciate it. If you do, you know, leave a like and all that good stuff. So we will uh, do this. We'll get some, we'll get 30 PP and we will get 100 of each monarch point. Unfortunately, it does not fulfill the age objective, which is kind of a bummer to humiliate rival, but that's okay. It's it's not a big deal. I think the monarch points are certainly um, worth their weight. So let's get you over here, and we will uh, probably... I suppose we should probably get our spy network up over there. Let's continue building it in Friesland, and we are going to have you guys drill for a bit. Um... Munster's war won't be over until he's done with um, Cologne, so we're likely not going to see hear from him for a little bit. That's fine, because we can let our war exhaustion tack, uh, tick down. Good. Go ahead and get that claim there, and we will continue to build some spy network on you. Have high income apparently, but I'm not going to use it. 
So that'll do it for the first one. Uh, just a bit of expansion. Obviously, we got our independence, which is great. Um, and we have a strong alliance in France and Munster and Savoy. Um, Munster will be really nice for getting these guys over here because there's a, we're going to be able to give him a promise of territory so we can declare wars kind of whenever we want. And uh, I'll show you ways to get around that so we can consolidate the, uh, the lowlands as quickly as possible. We're going to start um, getting some stuff started here. As far as the institution goes, we'll get it soon enough. We may not need to dev it. I certainly don't want to if I don't have to because I'd like to save... Um, this for up, um, devving up for what's it called the um, colonialism so we don't have to wait on that one but regardless if you guys are excited for the series please leave a like it helps the channel out a ton it's the best way to help out subscribe if you have not already a solid 50% of my viewers are not subscribed to my channel so if you like what I do subscribe there's a discord if you want to join the community and the patreon if you'd like to support the channel if you like what I do supporting it on patreon is the best way to do that, um, uh, links for those are going to be in the description down below. Check out my buddy Corbett, also going to be linked in the description down below. And with all of that being said, this is Chewy Shoe, and I will catch you guys later. Big special thanks to Udaldo and Corbett Gaming, my top supporters on Patreon, as well as Classified for Life, Bloodbound92, Radu the Beautiful, Airborne Animal 7, Lambda Driver, Damien Hartvig, as well as others for your awesome support on Patreon. Feel free to check out a couple of the series I have listed on the right, as well as subscribe. Catch you guys later.